What's up, guys, and welcome back to Lumberjack's Dynasty. It has been a while, and uh, basically this is nothing more than kind of a tips and tricks video. We're going to go over some of the things that I've learned uh, that may be helpful to you guys. So, um, I'm just going to pick up my eggs right quick. Uh, one of those things is max animal count. So if you're looking to make a lot of money in this game, one of the things that you really want to do is you want to get the maximum number of animals. Bleh, words are hard. If you want to get the maximum number of animals, that way you can uh, get this fresh produce, which you can later on sell. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in depth here. Um, once, once we're done doing my uh, daily chores. But um, I found out a couple things. I've done some testing in terms of what makes the most money before you open up the mill or before you get the furniture warehouse um, thing. Uh, mainly because I am trying to save up to get that uh, furniture making um, plant, factory, whatever, furniture factory, I guess we could just call it. And uh, I, I've discovered some interesting things. So we're going to get into that very shortly. Um, and it involves all of this stuff. There's a lot involved. So I do want to go over it with you guys. Um, this is probably the longest and most tedious part of every in-game day that I do. <laughs> is getting all the milk and eggs. Um, but I, I don't mind. I know you guys have seen this several, several times. But we're going to hit up our screen here really shortly. Alright. So, we got that done. So if we press tab and we go to game information. Here's our maximum number of animals that we can have. We can have a cat. We can have a dog. We can have 20 sheep, 9 cows, a rooster, and 20 hens. Now, your rooster will reproduce with the hens. Once you have 20 hens, anything over that you will automatically sell. So it's good to have all 20 hens because you get all those eggs anyways. Plus anything extra that gets, um, anything extra <laughs> will be automatically sold. Uh, I've sold for as low as 40 euro all the way up to 80 euro depending on, uh, how many chicks, I guess we can call them, were born. Uh, putting flowers near your beehives does seem to help with uh, honey production. It seems to help. I, I haven't really gotten any hard data on that um, in terms of my experiment. But it, it all seems very random. Over here in the greenhouse, this is a big one. And I'm going to go over this. You definitely want to have stuff growing in your greenhouse. Because what I did was, we'll come back over into this screen. We see here that it's May 3rd. What I do is, I save up all the eggs, all the fish that I catch that are not roach, um, all the milk, and I save up all of the produce that we get from our greenhouse. I save all that up for an entire month. And at the end of the month, if you make preserves, you can sell those preserves for a massive amount of money. Uh, I got, what was it, 30000 I think, if I remember correctly. It's about 30000 I was at I was at about 50000 when I did my uh, end of the month sale, and now I'm at 85000 So, yeah, I... It's definitely worth doing the preserves. Don't make the full meals, guys. I want to make that very clear. Don't make the full meals. What I do is I make 30 full meals. And that's what I eat throughout the month uh, to keep my uh, hunger up. 
And that's it. That's all I'll eat is those meals that I make. Everything else gets turned into preserves, which I then sell. And like I said, the preserves sell for way more than the completed meals. Uh, so that's another little tip or trick that I'll give if you're looking... Ooh, these guys need water. One second, guys. Um, two... There it is, water can. I like to keep the uh, f the flowers at a wet to very wet. That seems to uh, keep them from drying out. Oh, looks like our apple harvest is about ready to go. Oh, crap, our sheep are ready to be sheared, too. All right. And um, wool is another thing. It, it doesn't yield a whole lot of money, but you know, the, every little bit counts, right? So that's another thing you want to do is, whenever your sheep are ready, don't delay. Get it as soon as possible. Shave them all. Get that wool. Save that wool up till the end of the month. And what I do is, like I said, at the end of the month, I do a big sell-off of all the stuff that uh, I'm not immediately going to use, like prepared meals. And um, that seems to be working out way better than what I was doing before, where I was just selling randomly and I wasn't selling the right things. I wasn't getting the most bang for my buck. So, I, like I said, I decided to do some experimentation. I kept track of what I was getting and for how much. And this definitely seems to be the best way if you're grinding for that cash. And once I'm done shearing these sheep, I will go over the next part. So I'll bring you guys back once I'm done with that. Alright guys, I finished shaving the sheep and I remembered what I wanted to talk about in the greenhouse. I totally forgot to talk about it was a uh, plant growth time from the moment you plant them to the time that they are ready to be harvested this is really big and I suggest that you guys take notes I'm going to put this down in the description below it assuming I can remember to do that but one of the the fastest growing plant are zucchini they will be ready for harvest quicker than any other plant that you can grow. Uh, the day after zucchini is ready, um, I don't know what's what here. But anyways, the day after zucchini, you're going to have paprika come in. So paprika is the second growing or second fastest growing. In third place, the day after paprika, two days after zucchini, you'll get um, tomatoes, pumpkins, and chili. And then the slowest growing, growing ones are melon and cucumber. Those come in three days after zucchini does. So that's just something, um, some information to help you with uh, your time management and figuring out what you want to grow and when you want to grow it. I do five of each plant. Um, that's just kind of how I do things. Why do I have hay sitting here? But anyways, I have uh, I grow five of each plant, and that's what I did. That's how I figured this out. I put all five of each plant in, uh, did it all on the same day, and the zucchini came in first, paprika came in second, tomatoes, pumpkin, chili came in third, and then melon and cucumber came in last. So, just something to keep in mind if you really want to get into the whole micromanaging of the time. The other thing I want to talk about when it comes to making money, uh, before you get, like I said, before you get the furniture factory, is this stuff here. So, these bark, um, if once you get up to, I think it's 11,000 is what we can hold, so this is actually ready for a trip. Um, this is a great money maker. Absolutely, positively great money maker. You'll get like 
almost I think it's like eight or ten grand for every trip that you make um that's full every full trip that you make is like eight or ten grand so it really pays to um, chop down the trees and and process that stuff this stuff not worth much of it at all why the finished product isn't worth much is beyond me it makes no sense it should be worth more than anything else but it's not so don't focus so much on getting this stuff I mean get it save it up sell it do whatever you want with it but it's definitely probably one of your lowest priorities in this game um, if you want to make money the other big money-making thing are these uh, chipboards they bring in um, like a couple hundred dollars more per load than the uh, finished stuff so definitely work on these I think it's like 1800 that you get from these and if you use just the finished product you'll end up only getting like 1400 um, so it, it's like I said the finished product isn't worth crap it's all this waste product that's worth the most and then your uh, produce is worth the most so I mean take that take that information for what it is I'm not doing finding a missing sheep. Nope, nope, nope. Why do I have a star there? Oh, because there was a uh, quest that I did up there. Uh, so what you want to do, and this is very... you got to kind of pick and choose. I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow my plan of going down the middle and getting all this stuff first. I may have to pick out smaller forests to buy. But I did get this forest done. This forest is, uh, I think I've chopped down all the trees and it's ready to be harvested. Looks like it. Um, you definitely want to get these forests. You definitely want to get these logs processed. Uh, like I said, just so you can get that waste product. And it does look like I've completely chopped down all the trees here. Yeah, these are just waiting to be uh, thrown into the river. And there's a lot of them. I've got several trips here. This is going to be a lot of money that I'm going to make with this. And then I'm probably most likely... I, I'm debating whether to buy this. Um, I may try to buy these two up. I don't know. I, like I said, I'm at almost halfway to getting the furniture factory, so... I gotta keep that money flowing somehow, but in order to make money, I gotta spend money. I may just start down this line here because I think these will be cheaper than all of this stuff. That's point thirty-seven. This one's gonna be cheap. Point ten, point eight, seven, sixteen, eleven, ten, six, fourteen, and thirteen. Yeah, all of these will be cheaper than this here. So I may just start back here and work this line. Uh, just because it would be cheaper and then I've also got a uh, drop-off point right here which is really really good but that's those are the things I wanted to talk about guys um, I also do the I'll do the bush trimmer and I'll do the repair jobs when they pop up I don't do the find the missing sheep stuff anymore I don't do the transportation stuff anymore uh, once I run out of seeds in the greenhouse, then I'll do the find the missing sheep, find the missing sheep stuff again. But as of right now, there's just no need. I've done so many of those jobs that I've gotten a plethora of seeds. <laughs> um, as you can see right here, I've got a ton of seeds waiting to be uh, planted. So that's the reason why I don't do those. Um, I used to do them all the time, but now that I've got a stock load, there's just no point in it. And um, that's really all I have to say on that if you want to get a lot of money quickly. Well, not necessarily quickly, but I found that those are the best ways to make money instead of just trying to sell all of that extra um, wood, uh, the planks, the finished product, like I was saying before. Um, this just seems to be better way of doing it is getting the preserves and whatnot the honey I definitely need to get some more honey but 
you know, that's not huge. Um, I should also go out and try to find some more of uh, these herbs here. Just so I can make the shampoos and the skin lotions and all that good stuff. Because those pay pretty good as well. But I, I still think that making the preserves gives you the most money. So with that guys, I'm going to leave you. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, remember to hit that like. If I've earned it, hit that subscribe. And as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.